First alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Brad Travis. 48's Umbrella a Week giveaway is sponsored by Mr. Rooter, your locally owned expert plumbers for over 34 years. A beautiful start to the weekend on this Good Friday. 73 degrees in Decatur, the River City. A lot more boat traffic out there. Water's in pretty good shape, too. Yeah, clearly, you can see that on the Breeze Camera Network. This Easter is going to be one to remember. 78 degrees Saturday. 80 Sunday, sunrise services at 633 Sunday morning, 56 degrees. So great, great weather to spend some time with the family, do a little grilling outside, maybe ride some bikes around and get off the video games, get off the phone, just enjoy what nature has provided this weekend. Now here in the next 12 hours this evening, you may need a jacket if you're going to outdoor events by nine o'clock. It'll be 59 degrees then. And I, I was thinking about that last night because I said you, you may not need a jacket, but it was 65 last evening and I needed a jacket. It's 53 degrees at 3 o'clock in the morning. Of course, everyone tolerates the weather a little differently temperature wise. This is what we're watching out for you. We're tracking the potential and I stress potential for strong to severe thunderstorms. We know it's going to rain. We're going to have thunderstorms. We just don't know the timing and we don't know how strong they're going to be because they, oftentimes they'll come in and we could actually see overnight storms uh, from Monday night into early Tuesday morning roll in and that rain cool boundary may be here and the storms could fire to the south of us. The latest forecast guidance showing some of that. They're kind of split on this. So again, that's why we put a 48 first alert out. It's not a first alert weather day yet, but it's something we're keeping a close eye on. It is April. If you're new to the area, this is our peak time for tornadoes and severe weather and especially large hail as well. Here's the storm system. This is a pretty strong upper level low. This is the energy that's going to cross the Rockies and reemerge out in the plains Monday and then produce around the severe weather in the plains and then that moves east. So we'll have to watch that very closely. You can keep track here and we know you're going to be out enjoying the weather. You may be able to get some of those alerts on our 48 first alert weather app as well. Here's a look at it. This is our next weather maker. This is one o'clock Tuesday afternoon. A line of showers and thunderstorms moving through. This doesn't look terrible here just visually, but what you don't see is the instability is going to be there. There's just the right amount of wind shear for severe weather too. So that's why we'll have to watch this very closely. It looks like a, a late afternoon, early evening event, so maybe not an overnight event. That would be some good news. We don't like those overnight storm systems, do we? Here's your pollen forecast. That is going to be extremely high all the way into the, probably the next three weeks. We're finally getting the oak trees to come out, and when they start coming out, they, they get rid of their leaves, so you may notice more leaves in your yard, too. 70% chance of rain Tuesday. That pretty much covers that, and then cooler, much cooler. That's going to be that dogwood winter coming in Wednesday and Thursday. Overnight lows, perhaps getting into the mid 30s in some areas, maybe the last frost of the season. Let's hope so, right? 59, but mostly cool out there Wednesday and Thursday.